Give me your butt. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Blazing Beaks. I thought we'd do just one more, uh, let's go ahead and pick a character, Duck Platypus, Bluebird Chicken, and then uh, the Parrot down here. Parrot seems pretty cool, but I think that I'm gonna go with Duck, because he has the most the most HP, so that gives me the uh, the chance to get the furthest, at least that's, that's what I'm hoping. So, reduced range is troubling. I can see that his weapon is not uh, <laughs> not gonna go anywhere at all, really. But it's doing some pretty high damage, able to punch through enemies with relative ease. So let's let's pray that we can get uh, decently far today, at least further than we did before, because that's how these things go, you know. Just gotta aim to be a little bit better, and I know we could do better than just fucking wandering through a graveyard, getting to level two. That's lame shit, dude. I could be the best. I could totally make a loop in this game, which uh, I think I said in the last episode, I don't think I've ever done in Nuclear Throne, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying these games. I just want to try and try, and I've taken a couple of hits now. That really sucks, um, but luckily, yeah, I have the HP to weather it, so hopefully I'll get some, some more hearts and we'll be just fine. This locked level doesn't seem to have any hearts, unless there's some in the chest. Holy shit! That frog almost... Ah! Frog almost plundered my butt. There's another frog, but he dropped a heart. Unfortunately, I did get hit, so now I'm still a 3 out of 5. I'll take this toxic substance, because I don't plan on getting hit by ass or whatever. Bayonet looks pretty nice. Oh, crap. It does reduce my weapon range a little bit more, but uh, it also increases weapon damage. So I'm gonna pick that up. That's a pretty nice item. And yeah, we're outie. I got eight coins, so if I find something nice in the shop, I can I can snack that as well. Hmm, I think that'll be a grand idea. A grand plan. And there's a heart over there, but I wanna grab this venom first. I don't plan to uh, need another ability quite yet. I do like the dash move quite a little bit. It's my favorite. And yeah, the swamp levels, I'm, I'm pretty proficient at getting through them at this point, which is a nice thing. I don't see any other frogs or anything, so we just have to take out that guy, and we're done. And we're good. What's the eye mask? Decrease weapon accuracy? I guess that's fine. This weapon <laughs> doesn't go that far. Anyways, I need to be right in somebody's face. And there's the shop, so that's going to be super. I can get rid of all of these uh, artifacts that I've picked up. Get some nice items in exchange. <laughs> that frog just died on the spikes. I like that. I don't have to do nothing. 13 coins. Holy crap. Duck is awesome. All right. Here, I got some uh, some items for you. What we got here? Ooh. Nice. Transdimensional pizza. A little bit HP down, but also weapon damage up. And then, uh... Yeah, I'll take I'll take everything. There's no reason not to take it, I guess. And now I have the small crystal gun, which uh, looks like a, a taser of some sort. And it also has like no range. <laughs> I'm not even able to hit that frog. It's like sitting right in front of me. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to be super careful. I'm also gonna have to take care of my boy <laughs> every once in a while. So a little pause, no problem. And let's zap those dudes. There's somebody else lurking. Yeah. Kill that frog and boss door. Alright. So here we go. The newt only has two skulls. I guess that means that I will be able to whip his ass quite thoroughly. And I just spiked myself, damn it. Uh, I need to keep my head on a swivel. I need to get my head in the game. You know what I'm saying? This is a relatively easy boss to defeat, although that might just be because I've I've been to this boss many times before. This weapon is really awesome. I'm able to take a huge chunk out because the, the duck has that reload ability where it's like if you don't fire your weapon, then you reload super quick the first time you reload. So, smash this nude up. Wow. In no time at all. That is fucking amazing. Couple of hearts. I like that. Uh, does not accept artifacts from anyone till next area. I think technically... Yeah, I do want the discount, but yeah, we're going to the next area now, so I should take the splinter with me, right? Because there's no downside to it, really. Sounds like a plan. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If I fuck it up, then I fuck it up. 
But here we go. A little bit more. Big devil guys. God, I gotta get so close to them. Jeez. This is a, a scary prospect. I mean, I do defeat them relatively quick. One, two, three hits. So... It shouldn't be that much of a problem, but I would definitely like more range on this little gunny. Gunny gun. Oh my god. Don't hit the ghost. Okay, he hit the ghost. Little ghost statues with their eyes glowing. Then the ghost pops out and I think he does two damage, which I can't afford. I just can't afford it right now. Oh my. Big explodies and these fucking worm mortar guys. This is not fun. Let's go up here. Gotta get rid of that guy. There we go. And yeah, cleared that level out relatively quickly. Quickly and easily. No weapons to buy in the shop. Nope. I need a new weapon, sorry. I don't think that's gonna work for me. See you later! Alrighty. Bunch of those little spinny around fellows, so I wanna kind of keep my distance. I can make a little hole up here. And, yeah, at least give myself a little bit of cover. Oh god, I hate it. <laughs> this is a, a difficult prospect for Mr. Duck. Get in there, Mr. Duck. Especially with the worm mortar going, it's, it's not a pretty thing, but... Able to do it. Here's the shop. Nice! Nice! I got a splinter for ya. And double invincibility, plus two max, and plus two HP. We got the real gun. That looks really nice because the distance is infinite on it, from what I can tell, so I'm buying the railgun for sure. Yes, infinite distance. That's what I want. And two hits to take care of these guys. Holy shit. Just chewing everything up. That is awesome. There's a nettle there where I can't pick up hearts, but I don't plan to get hit, so I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> it might be a mistake because we can't pick up hearts Basically until the next level, I think. Use my key now. Holy shit, look at all this. Should be relatively easy to take care of if I can uh, set up some acid. You see, they can't walk through the acid, so they're basically killing themselves. And yeah, it, it, it gives me extra coins and stuff too, so I'm, I'm really liking that. Let's get this chest. hi -o! 30% weapon damage? Nope, I have to fight a boss soon. I need more weapon damage than less, for sure. Maybe they'll have a decent ability. The last ability was like a bed of nails or something, if I remember correctly. So basically you're, uh... Yeah, damaging yourself. It does five damage to the enemies, but you also damage yourself one. Which if you have the nettle or something that doesn't allow you to pick up hearts, it could be a, a really horrible thing. I don't know how wide the spread is on that, because I, I'm not gonna bother with it. I don't plan to. Basically, this railgun's one-shotting everything. I'm gonna take this lock just because uh, I don't have any keys to use. 70% chance to break a key on using it, which basically means don't use it. <laughs> don't use that key while you have this item. A bunch of little acid dudes. Oh, worm mortar. A lot of splody dudes. Maybe I can get uh, a chain reaction going. That'd be pretty cool. And wait for the worm. Boom! Yeah! Got him, coach! <laughs> There's a key over there. I better get that. I'm gonna need this! Heck yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Graveyard 2-8, so we should be getting near the end now. I think the uh, the boss door is gonna be on the next, the next stage, or maybe the one after that. I should probably pay more attention to how many, uh, how many stages I have to go through before beating the level. And... Pick off a couple of those dudes. Super easy with the railgun. Yeah, here we are. Here comes me! I really, really like this fucking railgun. Especially, uh, it, it negates Duck's weakness, basically. You get all this HP, and you don't even have to get in anybody's face. So, God bless you, Duck. I accidentally got hit. That's not going to be good because I can't pick up a heart quite yet until I find the shop. But oh well, we're at the boss anyways. I guess we're just going to fight Bogey, who got me last time. This is one of those bosses that you kind of die to really quick or just defeat really quick, from what I could tell. He does two 
two damage per hit, which is quite a little bit. And this railgun's fucking chewing him up, dude. This is gonna be another really short boss fight, I can tell. So gimme give gimme give your butt. Right here. Shazam. Super nice. Can't pick up any hearts, unfortunately. Helmet. Chance you won't take any damage. I'll also take the wooden heart. 50% less chance to find hearts, but that's fine. Ability to increase fire rate. Holy shit, that's awesome. I'm taking it. And then red door or yellow door? Mmm. I guess yellow. If there was a green door, I'd take that one. But since there's not a green door, I'd take the yellow door. We're just following a uh, stoplight logic here. So we got a few new enemies here. Uh, looks like those dudes are dropping something on the floor. Tar or something? Here's a shop. Hey! Hey, paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Should get a pretty penny from this. When you take damage, every enemy takes one damage. Plus one coin every time you enter a level. We're gonna be rich as fuck. Knife Arbalist. Wow. That looks pretty cool. Oh shit, but I shouldn't have done that. Because now I have to deal with my, my range shortening-ness. That was probably not a good idea. I mean, the range isn't awful. I guess I can deal with the range of this thing, but... Yeah, the railgun was definitely the uh, superior choice. As soon as I did it, I was like, oh no! What is he, What are you doing, brain? Here's a key. I'm gonna use my key! Go in the door! Dang, I thought this would just be like uh, a treasure party, but there's enemies everywhere. So let's get rid of these sandworms, I guess you'd call them. Beetlejuice hate sandworms. Alright, so we got rid of everybody except these guys. Easy day, easy day. God damn it. I really wish I had more range. You can't pick up keys. Well, I don't have any keys, so I would like to pick up a key if I find one. I'm gonna pass. Hard pass. Oh my god. What a mess. I really am kicking myself in the ass for, for picking up this knife arbalist instead of keeping my railgun. And I just got hit in the face with a grenade. It only did two damage, but still, that is painful. Takes away your active ability. Nope. Increase weapon accuracy. Yeah, okay. My range sucks anyways. <laughs> we'll do it. Why not? Now, if you're speedrunning this game, you probably want to hit the boss door as soon as possible. But, I'm not speedrunning, so I'm just going to try to, uh, yeah, get as much coins and hearts and whatnot. I don't want to fight the boss with 4 HP. Ain't never been to this boss before. Could be, could be bad. Oh god, fucking grenade. Did I say 4 HP? I meant 2 HP. <laughs> no key or coin drops, fuck that. Weapon accuracy? Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Why not? I'm really fucking up my my accuracy now. 28% lower than, than the norm. Oh boy. And cracked cloth is nice as well. It basically decreases the uh, spawn time of coins and hearts. But, yeah. Usually the first thing that I, did, that I do when I see a coin or a heart is run over to grab it. That's one of the items that I grab the most, according to my game logs, which I can show you just a little bit of. Hopefully it's not going to tell, tell you how much I suck at the game, which I do. <laughs> Admittedly, we're almost back to full HP now, so we'll just, we'll just keep it going. Got like three more levels to go, and then we'll... Uh, be super fortunate. Projectile speed reduced by 50%? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that is that is significant. <laughs> yeah, 50%'s like, you know, more than you think it is. 50% only sounds like a lot when you're talking about money. And you're like, no, I don't want you to take 50%. You can take 30, and they say 40, and you say, I'm gonna walk away. I got somebody who's gonna give me a better deal across town. These spike dudes are relatively easy to take care of, but yeah, I don't like the enemies- Oh god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't like the enemies that you have to wait for them to pop up and stuff like that. That seems to be the, uh, the gimmick of this place. 
More projectile speed reduction? Fuck it. Oh, dude, it's so slow. I'm thinking that I can make, like, a wall of knives with my active ability and the knife arbalist, and hopefully, yeah, just keep a wall of knives in front of me, and that should be, that should be fine. Now we've got a giant poop monster shooting flies out. Oh, God. Muck, why you do this? Fuck. Well, wasn't too bad. Pretty nice run. 55 coins is a shit ton. Yeah, I really love this game. I hope that you do as well, friends. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, I guess we'll uh, go check out my logs or something like that. That would be a nice thing. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon if you'd like to support me on any of those. That would be massively appreciated. I'd like to give a big shout out to Nico the Legend and MMX Akira for being our current Patreon supporters. Ah, this has been Blazing Beaks, friends. I'll keep practicing. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.